Well, here we are, ready to check in with Continental. Now, it's not always set up like this. They've built this booth to give us that trade show feeling, and all areas of Continental are on display. That means tools, spare parts, and services. I can't wait to see what they have in store for us. Ready? Let's go. Markus. Hi, Sydney. Hi. This is a really beautiful engine block. Yes. I love engines. Yes. But here's the thing. They can suffer irreparable damage relatively quickly. Yes. I'm going to say the word timing belt. Mm-hmm. And you've set up something pretty impressive here. Yeah. Yes, we've prepared a little something. As you said, this part here, it synchronizes the crankshaft and the camshaft, as I'm sure you know. What's not well known is that these things are manufactured to a precision of hundredths of a millimeter. And that's because it must work absolutely perfectly if you want an engine that runs well and meets acceptable emission targets. And what's more important, that's super important, the quality must be on point. Because if the timing belt snaps, you're up the creek. That is the next point. But how can you know if the belt is good or not? Laid out, they all look the same. Trying one out to see how it goes is also not a good idea. So actually, all you can do is put your trust in a brand. And Continental is a brand that stands for quality. And here, like you said, we've hung up an engine. Here, and you think, that's rubber. It looks like a rubber band. But it doesn't stretch by even a hundredth of a millimeter. Wow. The secret is that inside is a tension member made of high-tech material from glass fiber. As we all know, glass doesn't stretch. That prevents the belt from stretching over its lifetime and guarantees that timings are always spot on. You're in safe hands. Impressive. On top of that, the glass fiber tension member inside is coated in caoutchouc. Caoutchouc is, after all, commonly known as rubber. Mm -hmm. And when you hear rubber and continental, you know what continental is famous for. For rubber. For rubber. For good rubber. For very good rubber. We've also been a partner to the automotive industry for many years, and we provide products to all respected car manufacturers. And they trust us. And that is also the key to being able to deliver a superior, high-quality product to the aftermarket. You need experience, otherwise you don't even know what you need. We have tens of thousands of recipes and can make a belt for every single use. And we do. And now we're making our know-how available on the aftermarket. I could keep talking, but we've prepared another demonstration so you can see for yourself. We don't need loads of theory, we need something hands-on. Okay, let's head over there. Yeah, let's head over, okay? Okay, Sydney, as promised, this is... A hands-on demonstration. A hands-on demonstration, exactly. This enables us to give a simple, practical demonstration of quality. This here is a typical auxiliary drive. We're not dealing with a timing belt anymore. We've got a multi-V belt here. The multi-V belt drives the auxiliary components, such as the alternator and so on, aircon, whatever the application. We've set up two identical drive layouts here. What you need to know is that when we're talking about noise, the main cause is usually misalignments in the drive. When a belt is fitted in a new engine, it's easy. Everything in it is new. All the bearings work, everything is correctly aligned, and so on. Nothing is worn out, everything's cool. But if an engine has 120,000 kilometers on the clock, it's tougher for a new replacement part. Something seizes a little, isn't quite aligned, and Houston, we have a problem. You fit a new belt, and then perhaps you've got some noise, or maybe you already had some noise before. So the customer comes back again and again. Exactly. We've simulated that here. Operating this lever enables us to deflect a pulley. Then you have a case of misalignment. And so, let's see what happens. Mm -hmm. Watch out, it's running really fast now. And as soon as you deflect the pulley, you get that familiar sound. The well-known squealing. We're all familiar with that, exactly. What the workshops then say is, now I need to check all the units with a straight edge. What's causing that? Or else they say, come on, manufacturers, haven't you got an answer to this? And Continental has, in fact, come up with an answer. <laughs> I thought you might say that. This is now the same drive layout, and we deflect this one too. As you can see, you can deflect it as much as you want, but it doesn't squeal. And this isn't some sort of trick. You can try it for yourself. There you are. There's nothing to hear. I'm just checking that both are deflected by the same amount. Okay, that's all good. Yeah, that's cool.
The background to this is that these are special compounds that are tolerant of misalignment and handle it with ease, so they don't generate any noise and deliver the same performance. Not bad. Marcus, I'm impressed. You're welcome. I didn't realize the belt was so tolerant. Yes, the Continental belt. It can do this. Cool. I now know it's original equipment. That's to say, original equipment quality for the aftermarket. Now I can see Victoria over there, and I think she's got an example of this for me, hasn't she? Definitely. I can't wait. Go over and see what she has, okay? So, Victoria, what have you brought for us? Hi, I have brought multi-V belts for modern belt alternator starters. Okay. Basses for short. The belts are for the new Audi A6. Hmm. Hybrid manufactured from 2018, launched directly to the aftermarket from the original. First to the market is always our motto. That's really fast. Yes, exactly. That's how we always try to do it. We try to stay close to the original equipment, especially in terms of quality. Hmm. The belts have a... Let me show you this one. Yeah. Let me get one out. Yeah. I've got it. Thank you, very good. Of course. So, the belts have a very tough cover fabric on the ribbed face made of polyester and cotton. And in the belt body itself, we have a reinforced elastomer blend with a very high fiber content. The two together ensure that these belts can withstand the high forces between 30 and 60 Newton meters during the recuperation or starting phases. That's quite a force. Exactly, it is. They have to withstand quite a bit. A bass means heavy-duty work for a belt like this. Above all, the frequent changes in load direction are an absolute belt killer. In the long run, only a premium product can withstand that. Okay, so now I really like this product and I think, wow, it sounds amazing. Where can I find more information on this product? You can find information about our product in an online tool called the Product Information Center, or PIC for short. Fitters can use their cell phones to scan a QR code on the packaging to access the product. Or go to the web address, which is also displayed on all our products. Here, fitters can find, for example, installation instructions, or vehicle cross-references, or other technical data. We also have a watch and work series on YouTube. So cool. Which are available for our customers in many languages. What's even more, workshops who register with us will get a five-year guarantee on all products. That's just amazing. Exactly. I mean, help is really everywhere. Exactly. We want to make life simpler for the workshop so they can carry out their day-to-day -day operations more easily. Wow. And for those who aren't so keen on reading, there are YouTube videos. Exactly. Cool. Victoria, thanks. Thank you. Thank you.